Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And the Biden regime is getting desperate. They are angry at what's happening in Texas because they no longer control the narrative. Narrative is getting away from them uh, because Americans are realizing, hey, this continues to get covered in news. What's going on in Texas? What's happening there? Why is the federal government wanting to let these people come over the border um, illegally? Why is that happening? And then they're going to find out, hey, Texas has been trying to continue to prevent that. And now the federal government went to the Supreme Court to try to remove the barriers that were preventing that. And then people are like, what the heck? And now the Biden regime is in that quadri of what do we do now? If we sit there and try to federalize the Texas National Guard, we are going to come off as the uh, as the fascist dictators that a lot of people claim that we are, which they are, by the way. Uh, or if we don't do anything, then Texas is snubbing uh, their thumb in front of us. They're in a quadri. Democrats have already called for them to federalize the Texas National Guard. Unfortunately for them, not many of them have taken history lessons on how Texas politics works and Texas Constitution and all that stuff. Uh, so they, they are in for a rude awakening uh, when it's going to come push to shove with the federal government and Texas uh, coming to, coming to uh, uh, a head. With these things. So we got Corrine Jean Pierre, the diversity hire for the Biden regime out there, of course, spinning as much lies as she can and propaganda with the propaganda uh, network as she claims that <clears throat> nothing's off the table and we're willing to go ahead and federalize the troops. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Homeland Security Department has asked for access to this park that is now currently in dispute. It doesn't seem like they've gotten it. Uh, they now are allowed to cut down razor wire. Yeah. Some Democrats are saying the president needs to federalize uh, the Texas National Guard. So look, Is that something that could happen. I mean, look, I'll say this, uh, you know, the Border Patrol agents are now, as you said, allowed to cut through the wire because of what the Supreme Court has laid out. It's it's unfortunate that we had to go there. It's unfortunate that there is a governor in Texas, Governor Abbott, who has politicized this issue of what's happening on the border. And it's not making people's lives safer. It's actually making it harder for law enforcement at the, at the border to do their job. And so we have been very clear. We want to make sure we get something done at the border. That's why we've been having these conversations with Senate Republicans and Democrats for the past several weeks to come up with a bipartisan agreement right. to deal with the border. And look, if that the governor is not interested in that. Governor Abbott is not interested in that. He wants to politicize an issue and he's not helping communities. He actually isn't. And he's actually putting Border Patrol agents in harm's way by doing what he's doing. I'm not going to speak to any actions that the president might take, may not take, but we have been very clear on this. Oh my gosh. Yes. The uh, Border Patrol or the Texas governor Abbott is actually trying to protect his, his state from this invasion. And we have the federal government, which wants all of the invasion to happen. Uh, then they sit there and claim that Texas Governor Abbott is not looking out for the benefit of his communities. And he's putting them in danger. Actually, the federal government's putting in danger. Uh, they put the whole nation in danger. They have abandoned their duty to protect this nation uh, through invasion. And it's on purpose, as we know. So I'll be curious to see how this continues to go. I'll continue to keep you updated with any additional information that we that I might find or help update you guys if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, just so make sure you tune back in. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.